What's going on guys? My name is Kel Bailey and if this is your first time here, I want you to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the shout loop that I worked on in Logic Pro X. As you know, I'm always showing you guys how I create loops and one of the things that I haven't done yet was showed you how to create a shout loop. The shout loop has over 37 tracks in it. Um, there's a lot going on with the shout loop as you can see like my screen is full up with tracks The goal was to see how many tracks I could use but all these tracks have a purpose So let's first check it out and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like so So that is what the shout loop sounds like. I must admit, I believe shout loops can be very intricate and it can be very um, difficult to achieve a shout loop that sounds good and a shout loop that sounds full. But I'm gonna show you some tips in this video on how you can make your shout loop sound better. So number one, tip number one I'm gonna show you is always start with your shakers or always start with some type of tambourine movement first so one of the first things that i did with this session in order to make it sound good is i started with the tambourine so tambourine one that i'm using i'm using a plugin called stylus rmx so this is one of my go-to plugins i've showed you this one before but this is what stylus is doing And if you're listening with headphones, you notice that this tambourine is in your right ear. So check this out. In the left ear, I added a different type of tambourine movement. So left ear we got. So we got that going on right there. Then tambourine number three, we're using Stylus RMX again. I panned this to the right as well. So with shout loops, you're gonna want to pan your tambourines and create like this stereo image effect to make it sound full. And to add a little variation, this tambourine right here, I added this. Along with this stuff. So it's there, but it kind of gets lost a little bit, but it's still adding some variation to the shout loop. So we didn't stop with the tambourines. I'm stacking more tambourines as we're going. We got Stylus RMX again. So all of these tracks right here is Stylus. So this is what Stylus is doing. So, so if I solo all the tambourines, this is what it sounds like. So some tambourines are pinned to the left, some is pinned to the right, and they're all doing different things. Some is just shaking and some is just doing some off timing beat stuff so that's it for the tambourines that's a good bulk of the beat then with the claps we got real interesting this is what the claps sound like soloed so this clap that you're hearing right here is like a um clap that i got from this website called cinematic so it's like a trap clap then we went um old school and we just used some regular hand clap so I got in this microphone right here and started clapping and the same thing with the tambourines I panned the claps as well then added some um, clap samples in there no one clap is doing the same thing there's a lot going on with the clap so you got this clap you know going straight but when I bring in my claps, I'm adding variation to it. Now the kick, we're just hitting on the one, two, and the three, and the four. And this sample that I'm using, I forgot exactly where I got the sample from, but I'm sure you can find it on Splice as well. But put the kick and the tambourine and the claps together. This is what it sounds like. Then I added this one last final clap, which is a sample um, that I have on top of all of the other claps that I'm already using. And this just kinda is the icing on the cake for the claps. Mm -hmm. 
if you listen closely, I'm using some pots and pans and some interesting sounds. So check this out. And I'm going to tell you what uh, sound library this is as well. So check this out. And I played all of this out on my MIDI keyboard. Again, all I'm doing is just variation. So now this pot sound that I'm using, the VST is called Ting. It has a bunch of like interesting sounds in here. We got like silverware, big box and stuff like that. Finger snaps. I'm using Ting for that. And then for this bucket sound, bucket handle. This VST is called Slammer, and it's made by the same company. I'm going to leave a link below for both of these products. So the final thing that we added was uh, shakers. I'm using Stylus RMX again, and then we added a bungo in here as well. So this is what it sounds like. And this is Stylus RMX as well. So the biggest tip that I can give you is be creative and try to think outside of the box as well with some of the patterns that you play. And also go check out some of these libraries that I use to actually create this loop. Um, we got Stylus RMX, we got Ting, Slammer. I'll leave those links below. And if you want access to this loop, you can also click the link below and you can buy this loop. It's only $7, nothing crazy. But if you want access to this loop, go check it out. The link is below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We are out.